All right, so let's try this again. Wait for some more people to come in. What is this? Mm -mm -mm. Hello, hello, everybody coming in. Hello, hello. We are excited about our virtual conference, Profit and Secure. Uh, Here we go. Hello, welcome. Hey, how are you? No problem. See, I almost didn't accept the invitation. I'm not. I'm new to this Instagram thing, and so many people are trying to. Uh, other You're not the only to one. So I was. I was excited that I made it. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm new to it too. Hello. 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 Hey. Hey, Myrna. Hey, Deanna. How are you? Ooh, I'm doing you made it. All these people team. trying to join the show. I'm like, child, they're not part of the show. I was just telling her I'm like totally um, not familiar with Instagram like that. So, yeah, me neither. But welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, are you guys excited for our conference? Yes. Yes, yes. So I'm excited. Um, you guys, make sure you're clicking the link in the bio to get your tickets. We have some awesome speakers. Uh, we have some awesome sponsors, and we're really trying to help you guys level up your business um, financially, mental health, um, just anything that you could think of. So make sure you're checking the link in the bio. We have a discount going on right now for three days. The code is 5OFF. So let's just get started. Um, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about your business. I do have some questions prepared, and we'll make it brief. Sounds good. I'll start, so I jumped in first, so I'll let y'all know first. My voice is a little in and out. I'm getting over a bad cold, but uh, I'll, I'll do my best. So I'm Deanna Jean. Uh, people call me the collab queen, and experts come to me when they are ready to enhance their visibility, their impact, and their revenue. But the experts that we work with actually want to do that by collaborating with other experts. So we bring them together in a trusted, secure, and vetted environment to make magic happen. And we do that through our community called the Success Tribe. And I'm really excited to be here uh, with y'all and super excited about the conference. Yeah, I loved it. All right, and tell us about your business. Oh, well, my name is Myrna Lane Hippolyte, and I am a financial wellness coach, a wealth strategist, and I help powerhouse women executives turn their amazing income into their first million dollars in net worth. And I really firmly believe that managing your finances needs to be a form of self-care for all women. If your financial house is not in order, the rest of your house is not going to be in order. So my whole purpose really is to help women build wealth and understand the avenues that exist for them to do better with their money. Wow. So we know that you guys have your uh, business together. A lot of times you ask somebody, tell me about your business, and they can't break it down like that. So I love that. <laughs> um, so let's start with you, Deanna. The Collab Queen um, is the name I have for yep. you. Um, okay. So you have extensive experiences, experience with helping um, you know, build collaborations. Um, can you just share some insight on how Black women um, – and black women entrepreneurs, more specifically, how they can leverage the power of collaboration in their business. Absolutely. You know, I feel like innately black women, we have a superpower that oftentimes works against us. But it can also be one of our greatest superpowers, which is our, our, our commitment to nurturing, our commitment to service, our commitment to many times overextending ourselves. So when I think about collaboration, Black women are actually the ideal types of folks that you want to collaborate with. Because when you're looking for a collaboration, you want to look for people who can bring the same type of energy that you're bringing to a project, to an idea. And oftentimes, as Black women, we are used to being the one that brings all of the energy. We are the ones used to always raising our hand. We are the ones used to having kind of the lopsided um, you know, responsibilities. So. What we do is I, I encourage black women to really think about for yourself, 
think about the types of people that are going to help you to amplify what it is that you do. So think about people who can be champions for you. People who can say your name in a room when you're not there. Because those people are going to help to increase your visibility. Think about people who you can collaborate with you to enhance your impact so that you reach more people. And then, of course, think about clients that you can collaborate with that'll help you increase revenue. So if you focus on those three different types of people, champions, collaborators, and clients, when you're looking to be able to form relationships, as a black woman, you're always going to be equally yoked. So that's what I would say. Wow. Um, and a lot of people feel like they're in competition with other people and they don't want to work together. So I love that you're creating a space for women to come together and work together. I love that. Um, and for you, Myrna, you said something that was a, a really hefty uh, goal. You want to help women get to their first million dollars. You know, I know people who've been in business for years and they're still having trouble, you know, getting to, you know, four figures, getting to a thousand dollars. So what strategy do you use to help, um, you know, women entrepreneurs, you know, hit that, that, um, that money goal? I think the first goal really comes with bringing about awareness awareness of your money situation because if you don't know your money you can't grow your money so mm -hmm. the first step is awareness and knowing what you're spending money on how much money's coming in can you predict or can you forecast the amount of money that's coming in so that you can formulate a plan as to how much you need to put aside for taxes how much you need to save and how much you need to put aside for retirement one of the things that we don't tend to uh, take into consideration is the advantage that comes with being a business owner. When you are a business owner, you can establish what we call a solo 401k. It's a plan where even if you are you know, doing a side hustle, you're doing a business on the side, you can take advantage of that and put away more money for retirement. So I think as business owners, the first step is really awareness. Um, and what I find with most of my clients is that they don't realize that they have what I call money leaks. And when I say money leaks, it's things like subscriptions that you have that you're not using, or hey, let's say you're using ConvertKit and you're using Active Campaign when you know one software can probably do all of the particular functions. So you don't realize that, but as you're building a business and growing your business, you add different software packages and you don't realize that, hey, you have duplication and you can save money. Another thing is that as business owners, we don't necessarily track and keep a good toll of our expenses, right? And how much money are we spending every month and how much profit is necessary for us to pay ourselves. We need to be able to pay ourselves. That sometimes we tend to reinvest in our business, reinvest in our business, pay everybody else, but we don't pay ourselves. And that is a critical need amongst business owners for us to realize that as CEOs, we're not working for free. And so we need to be able to pay ourselves. And so having that awareness of your money situation, setting money dates with yourself, where you're actually viewing your money in a time that's outside of your paying bills, because when you're paying bills, uh, sometimes that can cause some anxiety. But if you're looking at your money when it's a time where it's not time to pay bills, you have that awareness. So uh, building the awareness is number one, so that you can build your profit and build um, your income and pay yourself. And I'm sure there are many more steps to get to that million. So guys, again, make sure you're hitting the link in the bio, take advantage of that three day discount um, and come to the conference so you can um, learn you know, more about your money uh, with the first step being awareness. I love that. Um, and for the collab queen, my question to you is, um, you know, your business thrives on you know, the power of networking and connections. What do you say to someone that has a hard time, you know, networking or, um, you know, just meeting people? Like, how would they get started, um, you know, networking and finding those collaborations? I love this question because I actually started this business and started collaborating in the way that I do because of the fact that I was that person. So people don't believe me when I tell them, but I am an introvert. I mm -hmm. am the type of person where I thrive. I could stand on the stage and speak to 10,000 people and not have a problem. But you put me inside of a cocktail party where I don't know people and it gives me anxiety, right? It was like 20 people in there that I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I have to start thinking about for myself when I'm having 
having these conversations, what makes them so difficult? And it was because I didn't always have clarity around three things. First of all, I didn't know who I should be talking to. Second thing I didn't know is what I should be talking about. And the third thing I didn't know was what could, how could I communicate my value to this person? Mm -hmm. So when I look back and I thought about business relationships, I tell people all the time, you know, I'm a recovering salesperson. I spent a decade and a half in sales leadership training and development. And I went back to the frameworks because that's a very framework heavy industry. That's all. But well, it comes down to really being clear about three things. It comes down to being clear about your goals, your gifts, and your gaps. So I would say to somebody who is saying, where do I start? First get clarity on your goal. What is it that you wanna achieve from networking? Do you want to be able to get more clients? If so, get as specific as possible. Say, I want to work with black women, coaches, consultants, and speakers who live in the Midwest, right? Then think about your gifts. Think about the things that you do naturally and really well. Not the things that your mom and them want you to do, right? Not the things that you volunteer for at the school that you don't really want to do. Mm -hmm. Not the things that your boss tells you that you should do, but the things that light you up and that you're really good at. That would be your gift. And then finally, this is the hardest part for us as black women. Think about your gaps. Think about the things that either you don't want to do or the things that you need support with or the things that you need to hire out for. And then what ends up happening is that it makes it really easy to have those conversations now because now when you're in a networking conversation and you know that you have a goal of uh, booking 20 speaking events this year, your gift is that uh, you have a compelling story that moves rooms. But your gap is that you don't know people who are actually booking for these types of events. Now when you go to networking, you're going to look specifically for event planners and you're going to talk to them about your gift and you're going to be really clear about your goal. So I would say to that person, just start with the baby steps of thinking about your goal, your gift, and your gap, and that will help to direct your conversations. Yeah, because when you're clear on um, exactly what, what you're doing and what you're looking for, um, you know, a lot of people aren't clear on what, like I started off saying, a lot of people aren't clear and can't effectively explain what they do in their business. That's right. It's much easier to talk about it when you are clear and sure about what it is you're doing and the type of clients that you want or, you know, who you want to collab with. So I love that. Yeah. Um, so let's see the millionaire maven methodology. <laughs> Can you talk to us about that? I don't want you guys to give out all the sauce because I want everybody to come to the conference, but um just touch on that a little bit um you know how did that get started um and just just give us a little bit of um information about what that is okay well i essentially started my business from a place of seeing many women in my life family members friends where they were in situations where they started they were in a union uh they were with the love of their lives you know, 20 years later, they end up in a situation where the love of their life becomes their worst nemesis. And then they come out of the union without anything to show for it. Wow. And so I decided to start my business to build about awareness and to make sure that women uh, who may not necessarily have the eye on their money have that uh, visibility and understand that they have to know where their assets are and they have to protect their assets. But the millionaire maven methodology came about because I had um, a lot of experiences in my personal life because coming from a Haitian background, I'm originally from Haiti, um, and I'm sure everybody knows the trifecta of success, which is you got to work hard, you go to school, you get a good job, and then you go, you, you go to college and you get a good job. That's a trifecta, and I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with that. You know, if you achieve that, you are successful. So I did all three, right? I went to school, I went to an Ivy League college, I got two degrees, bachelor's, master's, and then I got a good job. And based on corporate America standards, you know, I, I, I'm doing pretty well. But did anybody teach me about money? Did anybody teach me about how to make that million? Did anybody teach me about investing in the stock market, investing in real estate? No, nobody did that. So I had to learn that the hard way. And it's through my experiences and through my expertise, having worked in different arenas in finance, corporate finance, private equity, venture capital, I've done the gamut, even as a financial
financial advisor. So putting all of that together, I was able to develop a methodology that works for my clients. It's a methodology that allows them to increase their net worth, to really look at all the pieces of the puzzles and to make the most of their money. Because most of my clients are at that situation where they're saying, hey, I make pretty darn good money, but I don't know, I don't have anything to show for it and I don't know what to do with it and I don't have a plan to build that generational wealth. So I developed the methodology based on my experiences and my knowledge and my expertise, uh, the Millionaire Maven methodology to get them there, to provide a plan to get them to that first million. Um, and I'm just curious, why is it the first million and not, you know, a lot of times you see people say, I'll get you to, you know, $100,000 in 60, 90 days. You know how you see those ads pop up or, you know, make your first $100,000 in, you know, two weeks with this plan. Why is it a million dollars? Was there, um, you know, a story behind the million dollar, that number? For me, the million dollars, that seven figures is significant, right? Because it's a, a marker as far as wealth is concerned. And so that's why the million dollars for me is very important. Um, yeah, I can get you to 100,000, but why get you to 100,000? We deserve more, we deserve wealth. And wealth is our birthright. As black women, especially, we tend to underscore and underplay uh, what we need to do to get to wealth. So that million was very important. So putting the pieces together in a methodology that makes sense for people to get to that million, you want to know that for us as black women, attaining that million is actually achievable. And it is. And if you put the right pieces together, you can get there. And so that's why I put that in my overall, um, I guess, vile promise, what mm -hmm. I say to people, because it's very important to understand that it is achievable for us. I love that. Uh, one of the comments says, wealth is our birthright. I love that. Um, so do you find it hard um, trying to find or trying to get people to collaborate and work together, true collaborations? Because I know a lot of times I've seen just in my personal personal businesses, a lot of people say they want to collaborate, but it's really only one sided. They really want to take from the other person. Do you, um, you know, find any challenges like that? And what are some challenges that you find? A hundred percent, right? No matter where you go, there are going to be people who want to get over, right? Who aren't going to have your best interests at heart. And that's actually one of the things that makes what we do in the Success Tribe so significant is because we don't just teach you how to collab, but we teach you how to actually identify the people who are worthy of your collaboration time, energy, your resources, and your gift. So there are always going to be people who are looking to kind of see what they can get out of the situation. What I found, though, which has been really interesting for me, though, is that when you actually take the time to even break down for those people the benefits of being able to create true collaborative relationships it's a lot of times the fact that they don't know how to do it, not that they don't want to do it. So you ask somebody off jump, hey, what types of collabs do you want to do? And they immediately jump into, all right, well, I work with black women who make $600,000 you know, and I help them to do this, that, and that. So that's who I want to collaborate with. I'm like, no, that's your client. Who do you want to collaborate with? Who do you want to work with that can increase your visibility? to those black women that can enhance your impact and enhance that audience of black women for you to be connected to. So that then what happens, then clients just flow organically. And when you explain collaboration to, to people in that type of way, you see that mindset shift. It's, it's very rare that when I sit down and kind of recalibrate someone on collaboration, that they still come out of it thinking of it lopsided. It really is about being, first of all, in a community and in a place where you know that your energy is going to be reciprocated because a lot of us have been burnt, right? Mm -hmm. But then secondly, it's about feeling really confident in your ability to be an expert in your field, right? not to have that scarcity mindset, to be really comfortable with saying, this is what I do, this is my lane, and this is what makes me great, not feel like you have to be the jack of all trades, right? right? So I think that anyone, when they really and truly can be put in the right environment for collaboration and have the right guidance around it, that's when we're going to see more of these relationships really flourish.
Um, and so just my last question, um, you know, what are you guys bringing, you know, uniquely to the conference? Um, you know, the guests are going to have access to resources and um, things like that to help them with their business. Uh, what resources can you bring, um, you know, just to, to, for one, help them with their mindset, their financial health, and outside of all that, just their, um, you know, their well-being, entrepreneurial well-being altogether? I'll let Myrna jump in since I answered the last question. Okay. <laughs> All right. In terms of resources, obviously the discussion at the conference is going to be gold because the five steps that I'm going to be talking about are the five steps of financial wellness. These are steps that will help alleviate your money stress that will take you to the next level. So that alone, I think, is um, a valuable resource. Secondly, I also do have available a resource to powerhouse women which is essentially a checklist that gives you the basics as far as what is it that may be preventing you from reaching that million dollar uh, uh, threshold. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a resource that I'm also going to be providing and also be talking about a free Facebook group that I have, which is a financial empowerment community, specially dedicated towards women. So it's a very safe space where women can gather and ask questions. There are no stupid questions because what I found with my clients is sometimes, you know, money can be an intimidating thing and being open about your money can be intimidating. But if you have that space where you can ask the questions, that empowers you. So it's a community that's solely for women and where they can grow and ask their questions and get that financial knowledge that they need. All right. So, so similar to Myrna, you know, we know that this conference is all about helping women grow their businesses. So there are a few different things that I'm going to be bringing to the table. The first thing is that the talk is going to be action-packed with strategy. We're actually going to be having people go into their timelines on their favorite social media platform and actually getting some small wins, finding some champions, some collaborators, some clients in ways that they didn't even think would exist. In addition to that, we're going to give some bonuses, but you got to be at the conference for the bonuses, right? We're going to give you an opportunity to then implement what was taught in our Success Tribe Collab Circle community. The folks are going to get a guest pass to one of our networking sessions so that they can network with the powerhouses like Myrna that are inside of our community and so many other of the amazing women that are going to be speaking at the conference. And then finally, the guests as a double bonus are going to have the opportunity to join for free our summer expert series that we're going to be um, leading in the Success Tribe Facebook group and that's going to be going down in July and August. So it's going to be packed with tons of value. All you got to do is take the first step. We love to incentivize action takers. So take the first step and register for the conference and then be ready to take the information and the resources so that you can get those small wins and you can push forward. I don't have anything to say after that. If you're not at the conference, you're definitely missing out. I'm excited to hear um, from both of you and the people that we talked to last week. Um, I'm excited for your, um, you know, hearing your expertise and how it can help me grow my business. Thank you guys so much. Get your tickets. The link is in the bio. Make sure you follow these amazing women. And I'll see you at the conference. Thank you, ladies. Take Thanks care. Thank you so Bye. much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye.